Hi, my name is Dr. Ruth Mary Allen. I'm a certified brain health coach and certified Havening Techniques practitioner. And I really wanted to talk to you today about this new approach to helping people with mental health struggles and in particular trauma all the way through to general day-to-day -day anxiety. And that approach is called Havening Techniques. And it, particularly today, I want to talk about what is the scientific evidence behind Havening? So have you ever heard of Havening itself? It's a really fantastic new approach to helping people with particularly trauma all the way through to anxiety. And it is phenomenally powerful, but also incredibly simple in terms of how it is used. And we are all capable of using and applying havening techniques, particularly from a self-havening perspective to help ourselves with our general low level day-to-day -day struggles. So what is havening? It is an approach that uses the power of delta waves, which we generate through havening touch, which is basically washing our hands like so, stroking our shoulders all the way down our arms, and also washing our face to generate delta waves in our brain. Now, this is an innate ability we have from birth, our ability to generate these calming delta waves in our brain. And what we do from a havening techniques perspective is we use these calming delta waves to help depotentiate the AMPA receptors that are plugged onto the surface of our brain cells, in particular within the amygdala is what we believe it to be, to reduce the emotional charge and anything that is encoded as part of a trauma that you may have experienced. Now, that trauma could be anything from, from my personal experience, it was witnessing my dad's sudden death back in September 2019, all the way through to a major car crash, all through to childhood trauma, uh, that could be uh, somebody saying something hurtful to you when you were a child. So it's a, it can address a variety of different struggles that you may be experiencing. So what is the evidence behind havening techniques? Well, there has been extensive research by the two founders, Dr. Ron Rudin and Dr. Stephen Rudin for the last 30 years, seeking to find the best, most effective technique to help deal with trauma. And they first started looking at tapping therapy and actually one of the results that they achieved very in the very early days was using tapping to help people with phobias. But whilst they were doing their research, they found that havening uh, techniques, havening touch um, and our ability to generate delta waves in our brain, which we can uh, measure using QEEG was more powerful, more, more effective. So what research has happened since then? Well, there's been research done by King's College London in the UK, looking at the effect of one single session of havening techniques uh, to help people who had self-reported symptoms of anxiety and depression. And they found back in 2015 that th after just one session, they noted a significant reduction and, and demonstrated the efficacy of havening in reducing the symptoms associated with general anxiety and depression. That was, that was all linked into people's ability to return to work. That's the first real major piece of study that's been done beyond the research and the theories postulated by Dr. Ron Rudin and Dr. Stephen Rudin. And more recently, research has been done by Cardiff Metropolitan University, again here in the UK, to look at type D personality disorder. And these are people that are much more vulnerable to anxiety and depression. And they did an extensive study on a, a, a large number of cases of people, very controlled trial to look at the effect of havening versus a, a control uh, on the type D personality. And they again found after just one single session of havening 
that the heart rate, the, the uh, blood pressure uh, and the cortisol levels, that's the hormone associated with stress, had significantly reduced. And in fact, in many cases on the type D personality disorder, those people that received the havening uh, treatment, if you will, no longer had the attributes uh, associated with type D personality disorder. So it is a really phenomenal technique that has been proven uh, scientifically through research here in the UK to help change our state of our brain, to relax our, our brain state and really reduce the uh, responses that we have associated with common conditions uh, linked to mental health. For myself personally, uh, as a client, I was struggling with the trauma associated with my dad's passing last year. And I first of all uh, explored Havening as a client to help remove the distress level uh, from my dad's death. And I couldn't, wouldn't be able to talk about it had I not had Havening. And I went into the session, one, I had one single session uh, with a distress level of seven. And at the end of the session, my distress level was only two. And within a week, I was able to talk about my uh, dad's death without uh, wanting to go into an emotional meltdown. And actually, at the time of his death, I was wearing this T-shirt, which says honour the struggle. And I was unable to wear this T-shirt because of the association I had with his, with his death. And since having the havening session, I can now wear it and not have that emotional charge, that unhelpful emotional charge associated with it and actually wear it with pride because it reminds me of my dad, but in a positive way now, rather than in a negative way associated with, with his sudden passing. And in fact, following havening, I can now look back to that experience that I had and reflect on it with much more kindness, uh, compassion and acceptance. Since certifying as a Havening practitioner, I've been able to help people with a variety of struggles from uh, helping people remove flashbacks uh, related to PTSD to significantly reducing their anxiety levels, the people who've had major life trauma on a variety of things to really significantly reduce their emotional charge. All of this within one session, as well as helping people with phobias. And in fact, what has been wonderful is I've also been able to help my mum, who also witnessed my dad's sudden death, help her reduce the guilt that she felt that was encoded in her, her brain as a result of his sudden death and also help her with the subsequent grief. So it is a really phenomenally powerful technique that has its a really great standing in helping people with mental health struggle, which is particularly important in this time. And, and, and actually uh, it's been described by Dr. Daniel Amen as a treatment alongside EMDR uh, to help people with trauma. So it's really making good headway into the mainstream approaches for helping people with mental health struggles. And the scientific evidence behind it is continuing to grow, including there's some amazing research now being done in states uh, to look at the brain spec images of people who have uh, received havening sessions. So if you are wondering uh, what the scientific evidence is behind havening, then do please click on the link below to find the research articles about havening itself. And also if you would like to book yourself a free 15 minute consultation to find out more about how I can help you unchain yourself from your past struggles. Your past does not have to be your present.